Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today with Mythic Legions Valiant Knight. This was a surprise drop at Legions Con 2023 and originally I passed on it because I just didn't have the extra funds and then once I started seeing the new articulation and what the figure actually gives you, I was like, you know, reaching out to people and thanks to Art G who went to ZoloCon, he was able to score me a Valiant Knight. And uh, this figure comes in the typical Mythic Legion style packaging with some new card art and he's part of a new faction called the legions of light we don't know what other members are going to be in there or what that faction is really about but a new faction which is awesome but let's go ahead and get the valiant knight out of his package Valiant Knight, straight out of the package, has a pair of grip hands equipped. We also get a pair of fist hands. We also get a second set of gripping hands. These ones are more like squarish in the hands, almost like a tighter grip type of gripping hands. Now we start diving into some more expressive style hands. These, to me, are more like your grappler type of wrestling type of hands, but they also can be support hands and the way the fingers are opened up. They could be like trigger finger or like holding an arrow type of hands, but it's pretty awesome that this figure is just coming with so many different hand styles. The final pair of hands that the Valiant Knight comes with are some more expressive type of hands like casting, support, Frankenstein, however you really want to use these hands. Like that's the great thing about the expressive hands is like just the way you pose them and adjust them. It just takes the character to a whole different level with expression. And I like the fact that we're getting a bunch of hands with our figures. The Four Horsemen thought of everything with this figure due to the fact that uh, some alternate heads that you might have, like other characters or figures, have smaller ball joints. They gave you a whole different neck that you can pop in there with a smaller ball. Um, the one that comes on there has a bigger ball, but it really shows that they want you to customize your figures and swap parts and just have fun with these figures. An up close look at the alternate head. Now, the heads that come with the Valiant Knight we have seen before. If you ever got Father Christmas, you know, spoiler for anybody that might not have gotten Father Christmas, but he came with that bag of goodies, and we got a silver version of these head sculpts. So the Valiant Knight being a named character, we do get a wash, we get extra paint, so a little bit more love into the paintwork when it comes to the named characters, but this head sculpt looks awesome. Got that nice pointy nose, the holes, and the way the gold trim around it and the rivets. It's a really nice head sculpt. The Valiant Knight comes with some nice pauldrons. Got the rivets sculpted in there. And again, it's just painted in that metallic silver. And then it has a wash throughout to dirty it up a little bit. And uh, we get a pair of these to give them that full double pauldron look. We also get a nice shield. Uh, has some nice little tampo graphics on there. Paintwork on there. Gold trim super gold metallic on the back and uh you get the little corn cob pipe that's what i call this attachment i didn't even push it down all the way but you can see it's it's a tight fit so when you're pushing that thing in there you got to be careful not to break that off there so it is it's snug but you can see that that little nipple could easily snap off if you're putting too much pressure into it you get too tight in there and then you crank it in the wrong direction just be careful not to break that off but the shield is awesome now you're not going to be a knight without some weapons and we do got a sword the handle and the hilt look really really nice sculpted and painted really well got the gold trimming at the top of the sheath little hook to hang it onto a belt got a little gold tip there you know just the tip and then the blade is painted nice and silver. This is a harder plastic, so be careful not to snap the blade. But also, this is a plastic to where you can have this equipped with your figure, and it's not going to warp and droop. The final weapon the Valiant Knight comes with is this nice handle here. It's sculpted well, spiky at the ends, but no, it's actually a full metal chain that is attached to a spike ball. We've seen this before, but this is painted a little bit differently. And I really love it when we get stuff with real metal chains. It just adds that realism to it. And I've seen some people intertwine a thin wire throughout the chain to almost make it wired. Well, to make it wired so you can get some crazy poses out of it. But I do like 
loose metal chains. Now taking an up close look at the Valiant Knight, again this head sculpt we've seen before, but it's got some paint, wash, little paint details on the rivets and everything looking nice and clean. I really like this head sculpt. Spots in the back for the pauldrons, shield attachment, which this figure didn't come with shield attachments or a brown sash. So that was uh, a little bit different, but I love the little gold accents around the armor. Armor sculpted really, really nice. I mean, everything sculpted on these beautifully, like the chain mail in between the armor pieces. We got this collar piece. This is a separate piece that can come off. It's got the rivets, the painted on uh, strap and everything. Got the belt. This is a separate little brown belt above its little tunic type of piece. It's got the leather cracking and stuff. Looks really nice. Rivets, chain mail. Like, the four horsemen know <laughs> what it's all about when it comes to sculpt. They know how to make their figures look freaking phenomenal. And it's one of the reasons I started collecting these figures. Because of the amount of detail and accuracy when it comes to the armor. Like, we aren't getting medieval figures like this, and they're just knocking this stuff out of the park. Armor looking good. Continue with the chain mail and the separate parts that don't have the armor. The gold accents. And again, this thing has a wash throughout the whole armor. The little feet. Just looking good. The straps on the armor pieces on the back are painted brown. The detail that they put into these named figures, like when it comes to paint and washes, are just phenomenal and then the ones that are army builders yeah they may not have as much paint but you could do this yourself too like get some of those citadel paints and and washes and stuff and do some customizing there's a lot of customizers out there with mythic legions cosmic legions part of the cabal groups so and those cabal groups are on facebook so check them out because there's a lot of customizers you might be inspired to really start making your own style knight now, articulation is where this guy shines because he has the retooled elbows and knees. So we got the uh, head that's on a ball, and it's a disc hinge, so can look down quite a bit, can look up full 360 if you really wanted to, because I doubt you're going to have a knight that's looking this way. You know, it's just not as realistic. He can get up there with the T-pose. We get... Um, the elbow bend and pivot but look how far the elbow bends like that's that's the retooling right here look how much bend that thing gets we get even the pivot at the elbow still wrist rotation we get the forearm rotation wrist bend in the hands we get the hula hoop waist so plenty of movement there you can do the full van dam they got the little cutaways but it's hidden by a lot of stuff full kick up it's got the thigh cut up there, but then here we go. This knee. Look how far that knee bends. That's that's the great thing about it. These are single jointed joints. Single joints in the elbows and the knees. I thought they were going to be double jointed when everybody was showing it off and saying how the articulation changed. They just retooled the articulation or retooled the sculpt to get full articulation without it breaking up and looking nasty. And that's awesome. We do get ankle bend and pivot so lots of articulation a lot more movement out of these guys i thought they were pretty good as is but once you get a hold of a valiant knight and you have it in hand you're like damn they could be pushed that far the valiant knight is pretty awesome when he's all geared up with his pauldrons his shield and his sword i even have the sheath equipped onto his belt and it's just nice to get them all posed up just ready for combat ready to fight the posability and displayability and just the playability. Look at all those illities. You know, with this Valiant Knight is just surreal. It's just a fun figure with a bunch of hands that you can pose up and display how you want. You can army build this guy. You can use him just to swap out and make your own type of guy. But I really, really like this figure. Even though it has nothing to do with the factions I'm collecting, it, it doesn't matter because he can just fit in with the, you know... Uh, Leo Odysseus faction um, if I wanted to or I could just have him just be a basic knight just something to fight it doesn't matter that's the great thing about Mythic Legions like I've been trying to keep myself in my little factions but there's some figures that you just want to cherry pick from the other factions because they're just such 
cool figures. This one being one of them, also with the new articulation that helps entice the you know investment. But I love the fact that I can have him displayed with his spike ball and have the chain resting across his hands and supporting it. And you just got that little spike ball just dangling there, and he's just it's just awesome. I, again, it's just something that to me with this figure is just fun to play around with and pose up. Now, a little spoiler warning, so even though you're probably seeing this already, but everybody's opened their Jacob Marley or seen a Jacob Marley review, and we got a bonus head sculpt that was like the little treat, the Easter egg that the Four Horsemen gave us when you got Jacob Marley. We got a head sculpt in the safe, and that was one reason I wanted to get a Valiant Knight even more is because we got this awesome head sculpt, but I didn't have a body for it to go on. Well, I mean, I can't, I could have put it on really anything, but I wanted more of a silver body. And I'm like, that's just even more of a reason to get a Valiant Knight with the new articulation. I get to play around with them. Plus I got a head sculpt that'll go with them and I can have this dude with Aerithur and with the hordes, it just, just looking awesome with the demons and the goblins and everything. But I really love this head sculpt. That was a really great bonus that we got with Jacob Marley. And this Valiant Knight is just so damn fun. The Valiant Knight is a awesome, awesome figure. He is super fun to pose around. I'm glad I got that Jacob Marley bonus head to put onto this body because it just makes it look so badass. But I really am having a great time with this figure. If you're into Mythic Legions, if you're into Knights, you want to check out the new articulation that the Four Horsemen is doing for their Mythic Legions line, you definitely want to pick this figure up. He is a blast. And that sums up my unboxing and review of Mythic Legion's Valiant Knight. If you guys are enjoying my content, hit that like button new to my channel. Hit that subscribe button as it helps the channel evolve and grow. Hit the silver bell notification so you know when I post up a new video. And when I go live every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern for State of the Art, we talk about action figures, toy news, our recent pickups, but we also have guests on that are part of the toy industry. So definitely check it out and hang out and ask questions and just chat with us in the chat. It's all welcome. And most importantly, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.